All right, everybody, we are back to finish off Fallout 3, literally. Um, kind of a <clears throat> disappointment on how I'm going to end it, because it was kind of... It's just, it's kind of uh, anticlimactic, I guess. So I downloaded a mod to make it a little bit better. It's um, Underground Hideout. My original plans were to decorate the house with all the unique stuff we found, just like I did in Oblivion, if you guys don't know. Uh, go to my Oblivion walkthrough and watch the last two episodes of the entire walkthrough. There's like 300 videos, just watch the last two episodes, and I do like a house tour, <clears throat> where I basically just... Hey, what's up, Lotsworth? Your, your eyes are, are broken, like they're not lined up. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, you know, decorate my house with all the unique items we got. And I can't do that in Fallout 3 because if I have like more than 10 items in the same room, th they'll just start to disappear. And I've looked on forums, I've looked everywhere, and I just cannot find a fix for it. You look like you've so anyways, this is the house. Um, and talk with me a moment. Hail. I told them all yes. to make themselves a home, but apparently that means a uh, hurdle around the ladder to get out of here. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of shitty, I guess. You got this green goop just falling from the freaking walls. Yeah, we got everybody in here. Are you gonna, you gonna adventure a little bit? No? Yeah, it's a scary place. So we got this detox room. I guess it's supposed to clean me up somehow. Anyways, oh, she's gonna explore. Nope, nope, it's a scary place. She's gonna turn around. Anyways, you're sticky. Hey, yeah. What do you need? Nothing. I don't need anything. You're supposed to say something funny there, but you just said something normal, which is abnormal for you. So this is the house. <clears throat> it's uh exactly what it sounds like, an underground hideout. Except this is a very uh, glorified underground hideout. Now you got yourself a bathroom. Get the fuck out of my face. Shit. I'm sorry, Jericho. Captain Cosmos and his spaceship. Here's the here's the master bedroom with Sharon. What's up, Sharon? So we got like a map of the wasteland, that's pretty cool. Got some fish. Jukebox, we got some uh, army dudes. A lot of stuff. You got the secret little safe here. Pretty cool. Katanas, your bed. That looks very, you know, it looks in like very good shape. You got your armor locker, your weapon locker. Got all my stuff here. Majority of it. And here's the most of my weapons. Most of them. I have a lot of them downstairs. I'll show you in a sec. Here's my safe for all the stuff that we need to turn in. Or, you know, just stuff we collected. You know, I'd love to have a lot of this stuff decorated around, but like I said, it's <clears throat> problem with, I guess, Fallout or I don't know. Maybe the amount of mods I have installed. Either way, it like limits the amount of free floating things and um, they start to disappear. Which kind of sucks. Because I like the whole decorating thing, especially with the garden gnomes. But they start to disappear, and it's like, what the fuck? Uh, that? So yeah, it's pretty cool. Cool place. You got this little spot over here, which is like your water purifier thing. You just click here to sort, and um, it'll sort all your dirty water there and your purified water there. Over here, you got the same thing sort chems and meds and now all your stim packs will be there right away buff out it's pretty cool you got more lockers here got light switches you can turn the lights on and off alien biogel and epoxy i have in here you got your surgical system so you can change your face and your hair and stuff It's definitely a cool looking house, that's for sure. I would have liked to decorate it a bit more, but... Oh, well. I guess this is like your bath or whatever? It's kind of cool. It's like a natural shower, I guess. I didn't even notice these chairs here. I can't. Can I sit in these chairs, or am I just going to drink all this water? Sit. Apparently I can sit in this water. It's pretty cool. Alright. And then you have like a gun case here. <coughs> Display case, whatever you want to use it for. I can't use it though because uh, my items disappear. Like they don't disappear physically. Like, okay, yes, they do. physically they disappear, but they're still there technically. Like, 
you can hover your mouse over it and it'll say pick up, but you can't see it. It's so dumb. And it ruined it for me. I was looking forward to uh, decorating, but I can't. It's cool little bedrooms. And the bathroom. Alright, so that's uh, the main floor. But now let's go to the cool floor. This is where I got most of my decorating. At least what little I could decorate. And the game crashed, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I just realized it wouldn't be the last episode of our Fallout series without a good crash. <laughs> so anyways, um, I started decorating down here. As you can see, it's obviously nothing's done. But I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by this disappearing glitch. Alright, so here's my main room. This is where I was going to do all my weapon decorations. You know, I had all the unique energy weapons here. The laser rifle, the tri-beam, the disa this, blah, 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 destabilizer. Precision, you know, I have all this stuff. It's pretty nice. I'm going to show you what happens when I drag another weapon into this room. Alright, you ready for this? Look closely. Gone. Where'd it go? Still there. It's there when you move it, but the second it stops moving, it's gone. <sighs> Fuck you, Fallout. Why would you do this to me? <clears throat> so I couldn't really decorate. There's like a limit <clears throat> per room. I don't know if that's like with the coding or what, but it's a problem. And it sucks. So anyways, I got to do this. This is pretty cool. You got these mannequins. You can give them armor and you give them weapons. So here's the uh, your regular power armor, regular enclave armor. I gave them their appropriate weapons as well: plasma rifle and laser rifle, flamethrowers. Got the outcast guy, pretty badass. And then you got the incinerators. They're heavy incinerator. <coughs> then you got the Tesla, the Gatling lasers, and the good old T-51B. They're minis. Got Asher's armor, and then you got the tribal power armor, which consequently look the same, which is great. Really thinking outside the box there, but those. <laughs> got your Chinese stealth armor, and then you got the samurai armor. Space suit. Radiation suit. You got the, uh, I forget his name. Roboman? That's, no, that would make sense. Uh, the me machinists. The me mechanists. Whatever. Come back. Okay. Apparently, okay, equip item. Equip weapon. Why would it <laughs> equip that shit? There we go. Then you got the antagonizer. You got the Chinese guy with the Chinese assault rifle, and then you got the American dude. So yeah, it's the that's the main selling point to this mod for me. <laughs> Other than that, though, I can't decorate, so I'm pretty disappointed. And uh, this is the armory for my weapons. Again, would have decorated all of this, had all my unique weapons lying around, but. Can't do that. Mm -mm. Activate hideout terminal. So yeah, I guess you can just press all. Oh, I didn't even know you could do this. I did not know you could do this. That's pretty cool. You can do it for the. Alien power cells? Holy shit, that's a little, uh, little over the top there, because those things are supposed to be kind of rare. I did not know you could do this. This fucking... My desk is such a clutter right now. Holy shit, that's a lot. That's a lot of stuff. That is just ungodly right there. Ew, it gets so dark when you go away from it. What's over here? I thought you had to manually decorate this when I first saw the mod, because I was like, what? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put unique weapons on the shelves, but I guess I'm kind of glad I didn't. This is pretty cool. Alright, well, we're definitely loaded to the gills now. Alright, um, next up, you have this. This room's awesome. It takes all the weapons, basically from the entire game, and you can put them on the wall. This is the point lookout wall. These are all the weapons um, that were introduced from Point Lookout DLC. Another ship Zeta wall. I mean, it sucks that I couldn't decorate, but this is still pretty cool, you have to admit. These are all the weapons introduced from that DLC. You got your unique, unique weapons right here. Then you got the beautiful Winter ST-51B power armor that we've rocked the entire walkthrough. These 
are all unique to the uh, Broken Steel DLC, although I don't know what the deal is with this pistol. Compatible weapons. Coleman's Revolver. Or Magnum. I do not remember that. Or Callahan's Magnum. I don't remember that. I actually had to spawn that in because I didn't get it, but... So you could sort all your stuff here. These are all the uh, Operation Anchorage weapons. And I believe down here is the pit weapons. As you can see, there's only like two weapons introduced from the pit. Actually, no, there's one and there's five. Okay. Anchorage only had three. Then you have your weapon sorter. I mean, your, not your weapon sorter, your ammo sorter. So you have all your nades in here. All my hundreds and hundreds of nades. All my thousands of ammo in here. Three energy cells, that is hilarious. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mesmetron power cell. Thought I had more than four. Who knows? Um, unless, when I sorted this stuff, I wonder if, like... Yeah, because that's not fully done there. I wonder if it, like, took some of the things from these, these cabinets and put them on the shelves. That would have made more sense so it wouldn't be so overpowered. Mesmet yep, see, look, at the majority of my Mesmetron stuff's here, but not all of them are filled. Alright, touche, makes sense. I was never down here. Hatch to simulation room, interesting. Alright, um, here's your custom weapon build. Obviously, I didn't build any in the walkthrough, so I spawned them in just for looks. Ew, it looks like I forgot one. What did I forget? Hang on, what do we have first? Gauntlet, we got the shish kebab, wild cat. What did I forget? Got the dark gun up there. It's saying I forgot something with nothing. Oh, the Nuka Cola grenade. The Nuka grenade. Yeah. Um, all your melee weapons. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Normal weapons. You know, you have a lot of bobbleheads scattered around as well. So let's go downstairs. I was never down here. Let me uh, quick save. Never down here. This is new to me. I did not know you can go down here. I like the light switches. Can I actually use this, though? That's my question. The system is currently non-operational. That's, that's fun. A neural suit. The mainframe. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, attempt this, if possible. I don't know if it's just here for looks or what. Okay, so it'll be in notes. Mainframe. The password is 6289. All right. I guess that's you. Currently non functional. Why are you. Well, that did something. That definitely did something. Enable SIM pod. Open reactor door. Log entry 008. Okay. Whoa. I honestly did not know this was down here. What does this do? Activate control panel. Power off. Why would I want to power it off? Oh, that's cool. Power on. Here. So this is like the, the power room to... Here's the password. Okay. So what was it? 6289. 628. Oh shit. Oh man. Oh! Oh, I'm taking rads. I'm taking. What in the fuck? Why am I taking rads? Enable containment field. Holy epic music, Batman. Hello? Yo, I did. I'm gonna sit in this chair. I'm sitting. What do you mean it's not functional? I just fucking did all that fucking shit with the fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. I'm kind of confused. Was that like the wrong password? Is that why I did it? 6289. Six, two, eight, nine. Help, You are now sick with advanced ride poisoning. Alright. What do you mean this is not I don't get it.
the suit. Okay, I'm stuck now. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see anything else I can click on. Decide to click that. Oh, all your items will be stored in the item storage container during a simulation. Well then, I pressed the power button, that worked. I wonder where it's going to take me. Is it going to take me to Operation Anchorage? Because that would be redundant, but hey, I mean, if I could go there willy, willingly, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. What am I going to, or am I going to go to, uh, uh, whatever that, what that place was called. Yo, dude, this reminds me of, like, Portal or something, the way that everything looks. This is kind of creepy. I'm creeped out. Hello? It's dark. Oh! That is... That's... Okay, outdoor training. What's that? Let's do this one at a time. I honestly never did this before. Activate VR terminal. Uh... Weapons? Gotta give me a minigun. I'm rich out of my mind, so I'm insured. I don't, I don't get it though. Enemies? Enable, uh. Oh, fucking shit. Totally just bumped my mic and it fell off the desk. Um. Okay, so enable, uh. I guess we'll do. Ghouls. I like ghouls. Armor? I don't have any armor. That's cool. That's good to know. I guess I'm only allowed to have a certain amount of caps in here. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, I have mini guns, so I have no ammo. Where's my fucking ammo? Ammunition. Back. I. Pfft. Rough terrain. This isn't working, mod creator. I can't. I have no. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, it's rough terrain. All right. I can't do anything. I have no fucking ammo. Okay. I mean, it's cool. I guess it's supposed to be like a training simulator. You could have a nice battle here, but I feel like it would work better if I had fucking ammo. <laughs> All right. So that was outdoor training. Let's try indoor training. Maybe I'll use a lesser weapon. Oh, a thousand bottle caps. Okay, so they give you an option to pick a weapon that you can't get ammo for. I don't get it. I guess I'll just pick a combat shotgun and go shotgun rain. Ammunition. Can I can I get shotgun shells? Only twelve shells for a hundred. Holy shit! She's expensive as balls. Okay, that should be good. Um, enemies, raiders. They're always fun to fight. Okay. You motherfuckers. Come on. Oh! <laughs> it is dark in here, man. Like, I couldn't see anything if I didn't have vats on. Whoa! I didn't have vats on. What the fuck are you doing? Get away. Man, it's so much scarier without Sharon and Jericho and Fox and Dodgers. Get away! Fuckers. Oh, I blew his gun out of his hand. That's awesome. Well, I, uh, think I won. Little simulator room, that's, it's pretty cool. It's a maze, though, I'm probably gonna get lost. Alright. Rifle range. But I can't, I can't see that far. Sniper rifle added. Oh, hey. Oh, Colt M4A1 EOTech. Whoa! I can't use the EOTech. Yeah! That's pretty cool. Why is my phone vibrating on my leg? Okay. Marksman Dream. Whoa, what is this? It's silenced. The fucking scope doesn't even move. I love this gun.
All right, and then you have the typical uh, sniper and shit. All right, that's that's uh, it's pretty cool. Pistol range. Well, are they gonna add like unique pistols? The Glock 18 CSD. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool. The HK USP. I like this gun because you can shoot it pretty fast. Somewhat fast, anyways. And then you got the scope 44. All right, all right. See, I'm liking this. This, this. this is nice. What else did they add? Nothing new there. Just nades. Just set nades. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I have to do this, though. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Brett Favre, that shit. Oh, you're dead. Oh, that guy's running. He's like, no, I'm the last one. Dead. Well, that's, uh, I guess that's it. That is pretty cool. Um, well. Thank you for watching. I mean, I was kind of sad we had to end it like this. That wasn't that bad, though. That was pretty good. That was, uh, all my, all my lights turned off. That's not cool. I mean, that's not bad, I guess. I kind of wish I could have done something a bit better. I wanted to decorate, obviously, but couldn't do it. Not my fault. I tried. I really did. All right, so I guess this is where we end it. It's been over a year this walkthrough's been going and finally ending it. 200-some episodes. Tip. There's my phone. Um, yeah, I guess they're all exploring now. Hey, Sharon's just, you know, chilling. Staring at my, my cereal. <laughs> I don't know how to end it. It's just weird, you know, 200, 280? 280 videos, I believe? Ish? And we're just gonna end it, you know? It's, it's weird. So say goodbye, dog meat. We've had a good run. Maybe I'll see you again in uh, future videos. Because I know a lot of people want me to do modded quests, but for the vanilla portion of the game, that's done. Um, but, yeah, I guess this is where we end it, so, see ya, dog meat. See ya, fox. Stop doing that so close to me. <laughs> Where's Sharon? Hey. Gotta punch him, too, that bastard. Where's Sharon? Hadden? Where's Hadden? There you are, Sharon. See you later. Where's Jerry? Gotta hit him, too. Gotta kick him in the nuts. Cerberus. Where the fuck is Jericho? That rat yes. bastard. There you are. Hey, Jericho. You I've had you since like episode act. 10. I hate it here. Shut up, Sticky. Shut the fuck face. up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. And shut the fuck up. I hate it here. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. I'm still wearing this gay-looking neural neural suit. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yeah.